All right, you crazy custom kids. I'm Jay, I'm your host. This is Culture Burn. This is a Culture Burn Burnout. All right, everybody. I just want to give a quick quick shout out to a product I, I uh, received today in the mail. Um, obviously a music fan, vinyl collector, had been since the 80s, since I was a teenager. Um, I ordered this product months ago. Um, it was on back order. I guess it was stuck in customs for a while. Uh, it's the Turntable Revival Shelving Backspacers. See the nice laser etched logo here. Uh, these are made out of poplar. Uh, it's a laminate, like a plywood, wood, very sturdy, very nice piece, uh, better part of an eighth, eighth inch thick, almost a quarter of an inch thick. Um, great product. They come in several sizes. I ordered the skinnies, which uh, all of these glue on the back of your shelf. I, I have Calax shelves. They sell them for the uh, Better Homes and Garden Walmart shelves. They sell them for the uh, Target shelves, and they also sell them for the Calax shelves. All, all of which are the most popular shelves for, for storage uh, uh, of vinyl. Uh, I got the skinnies. Um, they come in two standard, or two standard, two sizes, the standard size and a skinny. Now, standard size, I don't know if you can see right here. I've got one put in right here. The skinnies allow the records to sit back about an inch from the lip of the, of the shelf, the end of the shelf. So um, there's a couple things you can do with that. They say you can stack a record on here if you want. Uh, to showcase it or take or take pictures, uh, my records won't stay up here. I've got all of my records in um, protective sleeves, so that's adding a lot of width to the to the size of the record. So there's not quite enough room on here to get a record to stay up. I tried, um, but they do sit beautifully flush. Uh, the other thing is there are some LED light sets that they sell for the top of the shelves here. And so if you get the skinnies and, and it allows your records to set back a little bit further, it helps with that LED lighting to shine down on the spines of the record. Um, probably not something I'm going to do, but I just like the look of the, the records not being flush with the face of the, of the shelf. I like them being set, set back just a hair here. So I don't know if you can see, no spacer here, uh, spacer here. Uh, it, my OCD is super happy over this thing. So anyway, turntable revival record spacers. They come with pre-cut uh, foam, double sticky feet. You put uh, two on each board, one on each end, and these fit very, very nicely in the shelf. They're cut perfectly to fit in the shelf. And I just basically reach back and, and flush it with the back of the shelf with my fingers when I'm putting it in. It's very easy to do uh, outside of having to take all your records out put it in and put them back. Um, it's a great product. I can't re recommend it enough. Uh, speaking of storing your records, and, and just before we we go today, I wanna mention, I, I've got all my records stored in vinyl exterior um, sleeves. That's a B-52's bootleg. Um, and then all of the records themselves then I pull out of the inner sleeves, I leave the inner sleeves in the in the regular sleeve, and I put them in an archival exterior sleeve like this, and then uh, everything goes back inside the, the singular exterior sleeve. Uh, nice, thick, this is three mil plastic, uh, archival inner sleeves, I get these at my local record store. Um, best way to store your records, uh, if you wanna keep them safe. Also, just as a quick note, always uh, insert the records and your sleeves with the hole at the top. And the reason you do that now is, as you're sliding these records in and out of your shelf, uh, that sleeve, if it's not facing upwards, if it's facing this way or that way, will either get scrunched or will pull off the record as you're pulling it in and out. So always remember, hole at the top, archival storage.